So I'm just getting out to a service call for no air conditioning on this Daikin ductless unit. Um, just kind of got out here and kind of got my bearings new to the site and kind of figured out where the indoor stuff was and the outdoor stuff. Um, indoor, if you put it into a call, it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't go on at all. So I figured something was going on out here. There might be an error code or something like that. So I got out here and kind of quickly seen that the coil looks like it was either really plugged or I can't quite tell what's going on or someone maybe attempted to clean it. So instantly saw that coil was like plugged solid with cottonwood and who knows what else. Um, next, I kind of was just doing a little, you know, look, look around on the unit and I usually kind of always observe everything, just kind of make sure I can pick anything that's obvious and kind of quickly saw this grill bowed out and this motor as you can see is sticking out right here um, which instantly you know that that's not right so uh, it looks like the fan blade is broke that whole back half of it's broke um, and you can just see on the shaft the thing is just like toast uh, and snapped off and everything's out of whack so I'm pretty certain that obviously it has tripped on um, a safety for pressures or something um, and I have it shut off now at the disconnect up here and what I'm gonna be writing it up for is a new condensing fan motor and blade um, and I will quickly just kind of check um, or I, I'm sorry I did quickly check just to see if it had pressure in the system and then we didn't like sometimes when these blades break off on outdoor units um, it can puncture the coil on the outdoor unit um, so far we look like we're in the clear on that um, at least it has charge in it, so if it did, um, I can't fully tell. Um, but yeah, you can kind of quickly see in here too, like the blade, it's just all jacked up. So, oh yeah, here's a piece. Here's a piece of the blade right there. So, pretty easy, straightforward. Uh, one on this one, so I'll be writing that up and then seeing what they want to do. I did kind of double check and it is a 410A system, um, so I will probably kind of push more for uh, repair rather than replacement on this particular one. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and thank you for watching.